and I am jet lagged, scatterbrained. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. I am back. I am stateside. Happy to be home, but missing Europe. I am missing, I'm missing coffee and cake in the afternoon in a very, very charming conditorei that's probably been like from the 50s, no 40s, you know, the decor hasn't changed in 70 years. Anyway, if you're a German, you know what I'm talking about. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I've got a few items I wanted to share that I purchased on my trip that are beauty and makeup related. And then I have some new products that I have been sent or purchased and I wanted to show you those. So it's going to be a combination of like in-depth review as well as sort of speed review. It's just so that might help direct your buying curiosity because if I give you some bullet points, you might know already if it's gonna be for you or not or worth pursuing or not. So let's get into, I'm just gonna build my face and so I'll let you know if it's something I purchased overseas or if it's something I was sent or bought here. Uh, at home. What I'm wearing on my face is Milk Makeup sent me their cloud primer. So thank you guys. Yeah, this I is called Cloud Glow and it's a foam, it's a mousse, it's supposed to have turmeric, it's supposed to have these skincare ingredients but it al is also supposed to be a cloud-like foam that hydrates, smooths, and makes a glowy base for makeup. And I only put it on this side, and I did put it on top of my sunscreen. It says to use as the last step in your skincare, then follow with sunscreen and makeup. But I decided to, since for me sunscreen is so much a part of my skincare, I put it on top. I did not apply it to this side. Um, it doesn't feel very different. There is uh, it here. They said a little goes a long way, so that much is plenty for your whole face. Uh, I feel like the cloud aspect and the mousse aspect is a little bit gimmicky. I'm excited to see how this works with a number of foundations, and I think that without having, I don't think there's any fragrance or denatured alcohol, so that might be a good bit to know for some of you out there. I love Milk Hydro Grip Primer and there is a little denatured alcohol in there so I don't use it as frequently but it's still an amazing primer and it works so nice on my skin for a few applications back to back and then I give my skin a break but it's wonderful so I'm like okay I want to see what this one can do. So again thank you Milk. What I'm going to put on for foundation is a number seven stick foundation and I actually purchased this at Boots in England, just south of London in a charming town, Guildford, in the county of Surrey. If you're from there, if you hail from there or family, let me know. That was such a beautiful, beautiful little city center. And yes, we drove on the pedestrian walkway unknowingly. Uh huh. When we saw so many angry pedestrians, somebody even knocked the hood of our car, we realized that the cobblestone street we were on is a pedestrian zone and not a road. Sorry, we're dumb Americans, I guess. Anyway, Boots was great. Boots, if you've not been and you're from the States, it's a combination of like Ulta and Sephora. So it's got the Ulta, at, no, it's Ulta, Sephora, and Walgreens. So if you have the picture drugstore makeup like Rimmel, Makeup Revolution, you know, like that side of Ulta, but then picture the high-end stuff like Fenty and, oh my gosh, you know what's really big over there? Kylie Cosmetics. Did not purchase anything. When I saw Kylie Cosmetics and Harrods, I cried a little inside, but I won't go into that. Anyway, um, <laughs> so like high-end, and then it has like all the Walgreens stuff, you know? It has like your regular drugstore 
things. So it's very, it was, it's just so much fun. Um, but I got this and then number seven reached out to me because I'm like on Instagram going, Hey guys, I found this and I've never seen it. And apparently this is available in the States. I have not seen it at my Walgreens. So let me know if you see it at yours. And I picked out shade cool vanilla. Typically that is my number seven foundation shade. And I think it's a little bit pale. Let's put this on. And I am a sucker for a stick foundation, as we all know. <laughs> Do you know? By the way, folks, side note, I wore Patrick Ta, the solid, the cream foundation compact, my entire trip and absolutely loved it. Now, I think it got a little bit heavy when the water was so hard after 10 days of being in hotels and not really getting my full skincare, full sort of the rinse that my face is used to at home. And so I was starting to get a little bit of rosacea, kind of just like a little bit of angry skin because I don't think my skin was getting as clean. Um, but other than that, oh, the Patrick Ta cream foundation base. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely one of my top five. Okay. So this base for the number seven is very creamy. It's very smooth. It's not incredibly, it's neither like, it's, it's not really matte, but over this milk foundation, uh, over this milk primer, like, is this kind of more matte than, let's see here. What does it look like over here? I actually think that this product is a little bit more matte versus hydrating. Like, even though it is a cream, I find it leaves a more matte finish and that just surprised me. The texture and finish on the number seven is a little lighter weight. It's maybe more of a medium coverage than a full coverage. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if it's just my skin is a little bit too dry right now for it because it's it's not looking as smooth okay something else I picked up over there that is apparently available in the US but I've never seen is Rimmel I thought it was fun to use product to buy products over there that I know kind of originate from there even though we have Rimmel in the States it is a London product but they assured me Rimmel told me that this is available in the States at Rite Aid. Some of my Rite Aids don't even carry Rimmel anymore. So yeah, but this is called the Multitasker and it is a concealer and corrector and it's just, oh, you know, I am, it satisfies this, this concealer fascination for me with just these big juicy doe foots and I love it. So I also, I think I got shade light in this. And I loved the Rimmel display in this boots. It had so many products that I never see in the States that are either sold out or have not made their way yet to my store. And it was so much fun. And I'm like, this is so much fun. So I find this concealer to be full coverage, like medium, medium full coverage. And um, I really like it. It reminds me of, what does this remind me of? What's a very, what's a good, uh, the original Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealer. Yeah, yeah. There is something I purchased in Germany and it's not the right shade and I am so sad. <laughs> uh, they had La Roche-Posay and they had makeup, you guys, it was foundation, tinted moisturizer, and it had powder foundation, or at least this is considered a mineral correcting compact powder, and it is with SPF, I think, and I, uh, made in Italy, and I got, I, there was only a few left. Our friend we were with needed to catch the train, and so I did a quick grab in this, this is, it was in a pharmacy, they called them Apotheca, and which is apothecary, you know, and um, 
and yeah they're very much like the Paris ones where you can go in and get like your prescriptions your medicines your your pharmaceutical stuff but then you also have like all the skincare all the La Roche-Posay, Avene, Biotherm, Vichy like everything so anyway I was just grabbing stuff but I was trying to also be mindful of cost because I was very frugal on this trip um, anyway <laughs> I thought I got the light and it's it's actually it looks okay but it's quite dark so, <laughs> I'm gonna show you I think this will be great in summer as a touch-up powder that's what I think this is gonna be I think this is going to be a really good powder I can wear so there it is it's not bad it's it's very nice um, it is a matte finish and it's about a medium coverage and it worked fine over that boots product another boots item Rimmel lasting finish this is a powder foundation I found over there and I was so excited so I picked up shade ivory it comes with a sponge I've just been using it with a brush it's a very lightweight compact actually but I did like that it comes with a mirror and the other thing I thought that was exciting about these products is they were maybe 10 pounds I'm gonna use wet n wild brush oh, Sesame Street I love this big bird brush all right so again this is very much on the matte side it's not like the Patrick no I'm sorry it's not like the uh, one size at all, really it's more what is this more it's very much it's powder you know it is a powder but it's nice it's soft it's not drying you can really work with the finish you can make it more full coverage if you want um, more just of a quick setting powder okay let's talk about alter ego they have launched a new eyeshadow palette and they sent it to me it's called dream gaze it is beautiful again I'm not paying attention enough to know what they're duping but I do love for summer lots of beautiful shades that you know everyone's about festival season and summer and florals spring groundbreaking you know and as much as there are shades in here that you look at and go I don't think I can wear that I think there are a lot of beautiful shades in here that if you're looking for something specific and you want to have this to supplement your neutrals it could be it could be very pretty um, for instance this clover is a sort of seafoam green and that is beautiful and then what is this shade sugar dust is that pink or white this one right here it's a combination ooh that's nice of of course kind of satin mattes duochromes let's check this one this one looks so pretty mystic it's a coppery red kind of a tiger lily oh okay that's lovely I mean these are gorgeous these are absolutely gorgeous I think this shade lantern is matte and also not a bad not a bad maybe transition shade it's very peachy but let's give it a go using a BK Beauty one uh, a BK Beauty 202 shadow brush and I'm gonna put it in that lantern I believe this retails for $22 I have a discount code so I will put that in the description I think Alter Ego are some of my favorite shadows that are affordable. Technically, they are not drugstore, but I seem to collect. Well, I am sent them, so I do understand. Um, but I do love them and I use them often. 
and I just think that they're great. They come up with such a good affordable version of popular ones out there. And I think for duochromes, because those, any of the metallic finished shadows cost the most money to make. And I do think that for something being so affordable, they do a very good job with that. Okay, I'm gonna put this shade Charm and it's a very pink. Ooh, ooh, that is so pretty. It's very kind of rainbow sherbet. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to use Going Coconuts and I'm gonna use this brown right here. And I think that that'll help. Give me a, a groundwork. I like having something a little bit neutral. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay, you guys, Physician's Formula, new bronzer. Okay, this is called the Diamond Bronzer. It says it's talc free. I only, I think it only comes in one shade. It says mineral wear. I have no idea. I thought it was cream. All right, folks. Ooh, okay. I don't think it's scented. Yay. Um. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm seeing the future and I think I'm gonna love this. It's cream, but it's powder. It's very much a hybrid and I like it. <laughs> uh, I, I like it. I'm gonna try a brush. I've got my BK Beauty 109. I'm just gonna see what it does. It's only one shade, so if you, uh, it might not work for everyone. That's very, very pretty. It's not, oops, what did I do? Oh, is that my, oh, hang on. Okay, I see what's happening. I had like a little zit right there, and now I feel like that's all I can see. Okay, I'm gonna try it with my fingers. Yeah, oh, which do I like better? I am absolutely loving this formula. So, if this wears nicely throughout the day over my makeup, we have a winner because I just love the way this goes on. It absolutely reminds me of the Milani. It reminds me of the Milani. It reminds me of the Danessa Myrix. It's very nice. It's very nice. And thank you for not putting fragrance in it. Oh, yay. All right. <laughs> Something kind of high end, uh, but I felt very sort of special when I received it, Swede sent me a few things and one of them was a lip liner and this is beautiful. Um, it has a brush on one end. It's a pencil you sharpen. Um, I will post the shade because I can't remember. I think it's called Cindy. And I believe it's either available, it's a Sweden line, you can get it online. And I think it's in stores at like Harrods and Selfridges. So I thought, oh, look at that. It's a perfect nude to go with that bronzer. <laughs> yeah, it's a great lip liner. 
I definitely prefer this, no offense, <laughs> over the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Yeah, I really like it as far as high, high end goes. Wet n Wild has new matte and satin cream lipsticks and I found a satin one at Target and this is the something beige and this formula is amazing. And I think this was $3.99 or $4.99 and I hope they come out with more colors. Also, I'm sad because I'm thinking, does that mean they're discontinuing the other formula that I love so much in the white tube? Yeah, they have about, I wanna say like seven or eight shades of this. And this is kind of a mauve, kind of a nude. And it feels lovely. And so that's the new Wet n Wild. They also, Wet n Wild has a new mascara and it is called So Defined, and I think I like it. It is a thicker brush with shorter bristles, and they are, I believe, the plastic comb type, and it has a slight curve, but it's a very dense applicator, and I have gently brushed it on my puny lashes so what i like about it so far is that it really does a good job of gripping all my lashes like the baby ones and it has a slight i mean it's not a curling mascara but i think what it is What's good about it is that it doesn't make my lashes droop. So some formulas I think can be excellent, but if you have a very fine lash hair and it can't hold up to the weight, so the Swede brand, that mascara, my lashes droop with it. And I think you just need, if you had thicker a more thicker, stronger lash to begin with, you would probably love it. Whereas this formula, I'm kind of digging because I can really make it dramatic and it stays. So, so far, so good with this new mascara. And Wet n Wild and I and mascaras, I mean, there's some good ones, but I've never been like extremely excited I think the really thin one I liked. But this is amazing. Wet Wild is launching lots of stuff, you guys. Lots of stuff. So just, just know it's gonna be a lot of Wet n Wild around here. But I really, really like this mascara. It, I just think it performed phenomenally for what I have to offer. It's very lengthening. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and I will list everything in the description box. If I have a discount code or an affiliate link, I will put that there too. And I appreciate if you shop from that, it does support my channel if I receive a bit of commission and I am always so grateful and I appreciate the PR that company sent me. So thank you for those. And that's it. Uh, if I have any uh, edit notes to share i will i will say so about the makeup <laughs> but there you go i hope you're well and i'll see you next time bye